Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul again. Um, okay, so day three, June uh, the 3rd. Um, today, this is going to go out on the third day uh, of my work with uh, Anak Moore and Eglish Regeneration Scheme. Uh, now, I've had a um, request uh, from Kaylin Rickard this morning uh, on the last video I posted uh, asking me for a chicken. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd show you guys how to do a rooster uh, and I'm going to do this page with kind of farmyard cute kind of um, an interesting farmyard uh, illustrations farmyard animals that kind of thing um, okay so what we'll need here is a pencil and a Stabilo fine liner um, so I'm going to go with a HB pencil here and then a range of colours uh, I'm going to go uh, red for the main part of the rooster's head um, quite a bit of white on this because it's going to have massive eyes uh, a sky blue I've got a darker blue, but this has got sparkles in it. These, these are Faber-Castell pencil crayons. I've got a pack of 60 from Amazon, uh, but some of them come with sparkles in. Uh, the grey's got sparkles in it as well. Um, these are kind of designed for kids, really, um, but I like using these lovely, lovely pencil crayons. Uh, I've got a yellowy orange, uh, and then a lemony orange, sorry, lemon, lemony yellow, um, and then I've got a, a lighter green, and then a bit of pink, okay, quite a bright pink. All right, so that's all we'll need um, color-wise. Um, so if you want to do felt tips, you can do. Um, pencil cranes will look better like this, but um, you can do felt tips by all means, no problem at all. Okay, so we'll crack on. We'll just do a quick rooster um, cockerel. Okay, um, so first things first is get the eyes in. Um, just make sure I'm on the camera fine. Um, so, here we go. Um, so we want really big eyes here. So I'm gonna do a big kind of, well, it's not a perfect circle actually. It's a little bit flattened on the sides. Okay. Um, but we're gonna go kind of circular. Okay, you can do perfect circles if you want to. Um, we're gonna have about this much space in between. Um, and we're gonna go the same Try and get, ideally, I mean, this would look uh, really quite cool with different sized eyes, actually. Um, but ideally, try and get the same kind of size eyes going on, um, if you can. Okay. Um, so, my one here is a little bit smaller than this one. Um, so, big pupils. Um, if you hear any noise on the camera, my cockapoo, my dog, is in the kitchen. He's pacing around at the moment because I've locked him in the kitchen. Um, normally he's in the living room this time, this time of night. So uh, if you hear any uh, pitter-patter of feet, that's my dog. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, now, um, if anybody's into farming and knows what this is called, um, let me know. I'd like to know. Uh, this It's like a flappy bit of skin. Um, just above... The cockerel's beak. Okay, um, we're gonna go a bit of a triangle here. All right, um, and then the head. Really quite easy. This um, we're gonna go for quite a small head. Okay, um, we'll just join up these lines here. Now, just make sure this line follows. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit weird. Uh, so it connects. Okay. Um, now, on top of his head, we're going to have one line like this. Going to have another line like this. Um, and then we're going to go right across like a dome to there. Okay. Uh, and then classic cockerel shape at the top cartoon version this is, obviously. Um, I'm gonna go, I'll move out the way in a minute, like that, okay? Now, neck really thin. So the neck's gonna go like this. Okay, it's gonna go out like an hourglass, but it's gonna stop there, like that. 
Okay, now we're going to do a few feathers like this, spikes. Okay, and then we're going to do a bit more of kind of a dome shape here. Okay, so almost like it might draw in a, a bit of a strawberry effect here. Okay, so that's the shape you want. Okay, legs wise, um, just kind of make him look like he's got socks on. Okay, um, so I'm going to draw this. You could put the legs together if you wanted to. Okay, I'm not going to. So. Looks like he's got wellies on. Okay, uh, and then we've just got some feathers going on now. So, gonna go. The feathers are gonna go right up. They're gonna go across and down. Okay, and that's the shape there. Okay, that's one feather. Um, next feather is gonna come up. It's going to go down like this. It's going to go almost into the same place there. And then we've just got a little tail feather here. So it's going to go like that. Okay. Uh, and there is our <coughs> there's our cockerel. Okay. Just put a little bit of grass in here like that. Um, and we'll put a little bit of grass in the back there. There we are. Um, okay, so your choice now, really. You could go round all of this with a fine liner, um, which I'm going to do um, to start off with. Okay, so I'd probably do the same. You can use a felt tip pen if you want to. You can leave it as pencil, up to you. If you're going to leave it as pencil, you might want to fast forward this bit. Uh, I'll just be not even five minutes on this, hopefully. Um, so we'll go, I'm just going to do this quite quick now, probably take a bit more time than me. Um, hope everybody's safe and well during lockdown. Hope everybody over in, uh, in Eglish and Anak Moor are really good today. Um, it's great to have you guys on board. Send me any requests, see if you can get some friends and family subscribing over in Northern Ireland as well if you can if you haven't done so already uh, mention the work we're doing with you guys on the art front I'm doing four commissions at the moment paintings on um, canvases so we're in the middle of painting a zebra's head um, second zebra's head I've done in the last few weeks one for my garden and somebody wanted me to do one for their garden so got a lot of pet portraits on the way next few weeks so that's my main my main art is on canvas I usually use acrylic these are just um, sketches really illustrations just to get um, people to pick up the pens and pencils again Particularly during lockdown, it's, a, it's kept me busy and kept me sane, really, doing one of these every day. They reckon art is brilliant for mental health. Because you tend to just focus on one, what you're doing, on thinking about other things too much. I find it a really good way of relaxing in the evening as well. <coughs> Excuse me, voice is going. Okay. So, there we are, um, just got one last little bit to do and then we can crack on with the colouring, okay? And again, I'm going to be quite quick with the colouring, just because I'm not in the video being too long. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is leave these eyes white. Um, I'm just going to do a very small circle and then I'm going to colour this in black. Okay, so a circle of white, very small, like that, okay. 
um, and then I'm going to have one up here because you want to make the, the cockerel look a bit dim, a bit stupid I suppose, a bit crazy. Okay, so uh, easy things first, we'll go to the yellows, alright, so we'll just get some shading. Now across the middle of this beak, you can do the orangey yellow on one side and then lemony yellow on, on the other and it'll make it look like the, the sun is shining on, on one side a little bit more. Okay, and we're going to continue that theme as we're going down, so just underneath his neck, going to go yellowy orange. It's actually a yellow, but um, it looks more orange to me, this does. Pencil crane. Okay, we're going to go into these areas here with the orange. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. Yellow now. The lemony yellow in the gaps. And this is quite quick. Uh, and then I'm going to grab an orange actually, so I'm going to give a bright orange here um, and it's going to just have like a fringe of of orange on its uh, on its feathers here, okay? Um, and you can really be as creative as you want on these really. Um, if you do go over the lines ever so slightly, I've just gone over ever so slightly, all you'd need to do there is just thicken up this outside line. If you're going to thicken one side up, you're probably best off just thickening the outside of the other one up as well. Okay. Um, so this is just practice, really. Just keep uh, keep uh, tinkering with your, your artwork. Um, Orange-wise, that's probably about it. Okay. Um, so put that down. Probably won't need that orange again. Um, now, blues. I'm going to use two blues here, but you could use... And I'm going to have the green as well over here. Um, so get rid of the yellows. Um, so blues first. I'm going to do his, uh, his body. Um, and I want the darker sections of these top, these top edges here. Okay, so where this is dropping down, the feather, I'm just going to darken underneath so it looks like... Um, it looks like um, shadow. Okay, I'm going to have a, a few darker specks under here, under his belly. Okay, and a few darker marks through the middle of him. Okay, and across this side as well. Alright, so lighter blue now. I'm going to leave a little bit of this top edge um, as green. Okay, so we've got the darker blue here. Sorry, the sky blue mixed in with the darker blue. So you want to try and blend this in if you can. All right, a little bit lighter through the middle. There's a good reason for that in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to do another bit of fine line work just to give him another set of feathers, really. Okay. Um, now the green, I'm going to just highlight a few sections in green, okay. Just going to go over the blue, a little bit of green here, just a hint of green. Alright, um, and we're going to splash out some green over here as well. Alright, so the middle of this is going to be green. We're going to have a couple of spots here green as well, okay. Um, and then the legs, we're going to match the legs, darker, we're going to go darker blue across the top of this leg. Okay, and then we're going to bring in this shadow and it's going to come further down on this leg, on his right hand leg. Okay, um, and then we're just going to match this blue again, just a lighter blue around the outside of this green. There we are. Dogs up and walking around again. Okay, um, and then darker blue for his feathers. We're not far off finishing actually now. Um, we just darker blue through in the middle, darker blue on this uh, edge here. 
not that far away from finishing at all. Um, darker blue on the inside of this one and across the top like that. And then we're gonna go a bit more green, flash a bit more green around the outside of this. Like this, okay. Um, and then a little bit of darker blue sky blue and darker blue, darker blue on the outside of this bit here, darker blue into this section, some of you guys might want to pause this and just keep um, playing little sections of it, I know I'm going quite quickly, especially if you're young, make sure you just pause the videos, okay, um, I'm using an art gecko pad from Amazon, Really good pads these are. This is an A3 size pad and it's got a silver um, silver outside uh, cover. Okay, so red's next. Oh, actually yellows. Let's just go back to the yellows for feet. So this orangey yellow. Um, a little bit of orangey yellow down here. Okay, and down this edge, and then we're gonna go lemony yellow through the top, this side. Okay. Um, smudged a little bit of that blue out. That's okay. Um, you can normally rub it out if you do it quite quick. Okay, so reds now, and pinks. Okay, so I'm going to show you where I put the darker red. So this is quite a bright red. So all this section, apart from this top edge, is going to be darker red. Okay. So we're on to 17 minutes on this. Hopefully we'll be finished at 22, something like that. 22 minutes. Okay. So... We've got that darker red there, all right? Um, and then we're gonna have a darker section of red either side of his eyes. So all this is gonna be darker red, okay? Um, we're gonna have a little bit of dark red there, a little bit the other side of that, a little bit above the eye here, okay? Um, and then what we're going to look at is probably um, getting this kind of thing going across the top. So all of this is going to be the darker, brighter kind of pillar box red all the way across. Okay, so nearly finished. Just got to get the pink in now after this. we are. Um, what you want to do is just leave a little bit of this wobbly bit, I don't know what it's called, I'll call it a wobbly bit I'm sure, if there's any farmers over in there, uh, or children of farmers over in uh, Eglish and Annick Moore, you might be able to tell me what these, what this bit is called on the rooster. Okay, so we've got red all the way through this, okay, red under here, which is good, somebody just turned up next door, my dog's, <laughs> I knew he was going to bark then, barks at any neighbours coming in, um, it's good guard dog, make good guard dogs cockapoos, they bark at any noise, right, um, maybe jump then, there they went out, so the lines jumping on the dog bark. Okay, so, um, that'll do us. Okay, um, so now pink. I have quite a bright pink here. Um, so all you've got to do now is just colour the rest of it pink. Okay, and it'll just show that there's a little bit of light across this bird's face, okay. Um, So we'll do some pink over here. You could leave a few bits of white if you wanted to. Um, I'm not probably going to. 
a little bit of pink at the bottom here and main bit of pink here okay could also do I don't know a bit of corn coming out of a bit of the grass or corn coming out of his mouth um, chewing on a piece of grass something like that maybe um, could design this in all sorts of ways different shapes you could have him with his head down pecking at the floor um, Yeah, this is mad looking uh, rooster. Just let me know what you think about this. I can do other other kinds of chickens and farm animals as well. Um, if you want a classic chicken, I could uh, I could perhaps do do that kind of thing. Um, okay, so now we just want a little bit of this um, orangey yellow through here, and then bring a bit more of the green over to just suggest there's grass underneath his feet. Okay, bit of grass in there, a little bit of greenery here. There we are. Now, if you wanted to, I've got a gray, silvery gray, just suggests there's a bit of shadow underneath his feet here. Okay, like I've done in the last couple of videos I've showed you, you just want to suggest there's a bit of shadow underneath his feet like that, okay? Um, and maybe just darken this section underneath his eyes. I think I might just do that actually with this gray. So I'm now just moving underneath the eyes with the with the gray, um, just to give it a little bit of shade underneath there, okay? Uh, and I think that looks quite effective. Um, certainly uh, happy with that, okay? bit of grey around the outside edge of his eyes as well, maybe like that, okay. Um, and that is our uh, rooster, okay. Hope you uh, enjoyed that video anyway. You guys stay safe and I'll see you on day four, uh, 4th of July. Um, speak to you all very soon. Take care, look after yourselves.